Hi, this is Richard from U.S. Appliance in Hemet, California, and uh, I've got a tip for you. We've kind of done this before, but things have changed a little bit in the last couple years, so I want to give you an updated tip on your washer lid switch. The lid switch is what stops it from spinning when you lift this. You know you can stop it and start it up here, but when you lift the lid, it's supposed to stop. Now forever, every just about every manufacturer for the longest time has had a little hole right here with a little thing right here, pushes that down lets it know it's closed. Well, now what you have is you have the lid switch up underneath here and it actually this hinge goes down and hits the lid switch when you close it. Let's see if we I don't know if the sound will come through. But you hear that click. It's actually back in here. So there's two things that happen with this. Sometimes somebody will sit on this, you know how these will they'll plop down? Like this one's popping back up like it's supposed to. But if you've had a lot of people sitting on it, it'll get stuck like this. Reach in, pop it back out, and you should hear that click again. Now the signs are, it'll fill up with water and then stop. It won't spin, it won't drain, it just sits there full of water. Anyway, first step, pop this open, listen for the click, and then the next step, is you, it's a little bit tougher, but you reach in here and you pull back on this hinge and you get it, uh, you get it to click again. Okay, so this lid switch is working. You should be able to hear the click. If you pop this and you're still not hearing the click, the next step is the back end of this hinge. You can reach down in here and you can feel it move. It's going like this. And what happens is when this is pushed down, it takes this hinge and the hinge goes too far and actually bends back a little bit. So what you need to do, as it goes forward up on top, it comes back towards you on the bottom. Just give it a little push. You don't want to go too, cra too crazy because you'll, you'll break your lid switches back up in there. But what I do is most of the time I'll just give it a good little strong push with my thumb and it moves it maybe about a quarter of an inch and then you'll hear that click. If that doesn't work, the next step is to take this off, which I can show you in another video. But most of the time, simple stuff, no tools really. Pop, push, you should get your click back. And then after that, I'll show another video that'll show you how to get in. I'll make another video that'll show you how to get in here, but that's where you gotta start using tools. So some people, you wanna do something real simple, that's a real simple fix, save you 50, 60, who, who knows what they're going to charge you, anywhere between 40 and 75 bucks to come out and look at your machine. Save a few bucks, give it a shot, if that doesn't work, you don't feel comfortable with it, call somebody then. At least you can try it at home yourself first. Alright, this is Richard hey. from U.S. Appliance out here in Hemet, California. Our phone number is 951-765-0010. If you just got through watching my lid switch demonstration on this, if you have any questions, hey, give us a call. My name's Richard. Uh, even if you're not in California, I like talking to people from all over the place. I can give you a couple of simple instructions if you're, uh, if you're feeling kind of brave, you want to take it apart. Uh, everything on this machine comes from getting the body out of the way. You don't go to it from the back. So that's another little helpful hint. Once again, this is Richard from U.S. Appliance. Thanks for watching.